Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got done watching The Hunt. The Hunt is a 2020 film. I guess it's a horror movie, maybe a little bit of action as well. I don't know exactly how you want to categorize it. And because of all of this uh, current events, I guess you could say, going on in the world, I wasn't able to go to a theater, or I don't even know if I, if anybody would want to go to a theater during this time, but it, the theaters are closed, so I saw this on demand, I, I watched it, I was very curious about it, especially because this was a movie that was originally slated to come out last year, but when the trailer came out, when people found out what this movie was about, it got a lot of backlash, a lot of controversy, I'm sure you've heard it got pulled from the lineup. I'm not so sure if it was pulled uh, to avoid the backlash or if it was pulled because it, uh, the producers, the studio knew that with this reaction, it'd be much better to bring it back at this time full force and take advantage of that publicity that it got. Either way, though, The Hunt is directed by Craig Zobel. And the plot is, the reason why it's so controversial is that it's very much political based. And you don't really, you know, I know some people hate political agendas, especially when you turn on the TV and you feel like that's all you see with the news or whatever TV show that you want to watch. You see that, uh, that no matter which side that you're on, if you're a Republican, if you're a Democrat, if you're a liberal or it doesn't really matter because I feel like those ideas are being spouted everywhere. So maybe you don't want to see a movie that very much has that in your face. But you see that there are a group of characters. Let's just put it this way. There are a group of characters, Republicans, I guess you could call them, who get kidnapped and they get put into this Hunger Games meets the Purge-like situation where they are being hunted, and they're trying to survive. You meet all these characters who kind of, I don't even want to say one by one, because sometimes it's so sudden and it's so quick that you barely get to meet all of them. But once the characters realize who is going after them, who is trying to take them out, they try to survive for as long as they can. Now, what I thought of The Hunt is... I liked the movie just fine. I did. I didn't love it. I'm not sitting here over the moon about it. It's one of those films that I liked the concept. I appreciated the concept. It's very out there. Um, in the times that we're living in, it was very bold and very big balls of them to make a movie like this. So I guess in a lot of ways, I appreciate this movie being made more so than anything. This cast, I, I'm very impressed with some of the cast members that they got, like Emma Roberts, Justin Hartley, uh, Ike Barinholtz, Ethan Supley, who, uh, or I think that's how you say it, Supley. I remember that actor being in a bunch of stuff in the 90s, like Boy Meets World or various TV shows, comedy shows. And I've known him to be a very big, big dude. But most recently, he's gotten himself in shape. He's actually a little muscular, so that's kind of odd. But each and every one of their characters has a certain thing about them, something memorable about them. But what this movie is able to do is that, and not to give away too many spoilers as far as who and when and why, but there are so many characters that you sit there and you go, oh, well, I know that actor. That's a recognizable actor. That's a name actor. We're probably going to follow them. And the movie purposely will focus on that particular character for a certain amount of time, and then, boom, dead. There's so many times where you go like, oh, crap, well, that person just died. Let's follow this person now. We're going along, going along. Now they're dead. Okay, how about we'll follow this character going along? No, nope, and now they're dead. So you find yourself in a situation where nobody's safe, anybody can be got, and I guess suspense wise unpredictability wise that was a good thing um hillary swank is in this movie which i i how did they get her hillary swank sure to be fair she hasn't or at least i don't know when the last movie she's been in was but she's won an oscar like two times so she's a pretty high profile name in that sense she i don't want to say plays the villain because once again maybe you can come down on the side 
depending on who you agree with more, which political side you agree with more. I don't know. She has her agenda. She has uh, her motivations for what she's doing. I will just say that I enjoyed seeing her play a role like this. Very different. Also, Betty Gilpin plays Crystal. She really ends up being the main character at the end of the day. She's very tough. She's very badass. She's very experienced. She's very capable. So I guess I appreciate all of those qualities in her. Uh, she does make some goofy faces at some point. Some of the action scenes or some of the fight scenes. She, you know, she kind of has, she kind of makes some funny faces that made me laugh. This movie is very bloody, very like over the top in, in, in some of the death scenes or the action scenes. Uh, but I think that's what helped it. Maybe the movie would have been a little too intense or a little too depressing to watch or too uh, hard to watch not as fun to watch if it was more in reality if it was more down to earth the fact that it was a little over the top the fact that characters do get blown up into pieces and it is in that vein maybe that made it uh, able to watch a lot more there is one fight scene though in particular near the end of the movie between two female characters that I was very impressed with and I just thought was very cool. I probably could have watched that for even more time. In fact, if more of the movie had that type of fighting and action, I, I maybe would have given this a lot more points. It's hard for me to rate this because watching this, I don't know if it was just one of those things where I'm in a certain kind of mood when it comes to movies nowadays with everything going on in the world. Maybe I, maybe I wasn't 100%. Uh, into the film itself, watching it. I didn't dislike it, though. Uh, I Maybe I was just hoping to enjoy it a lot more than I did. Um, there are points where there's jokes in the movie, and there's, there's a certain set of comedy that the movie tries to go along with, and not all of it's funny. I guess I'm trying to establish why I didn't love it, why I didn't love it as much as I wanted to. Maybe the tone, the writing doesn't work 100% of the time. Overall, though, I guess it's a decent time waster. I'm going to give this... Mm, mm, mm. Honestly, I don't see myself being so quick to rewatch it. So I guess in that sense, I'll give it a Netflix and chill. It's something that you can put on to watch or have a date and have on in the background and has some moments it's a little tense in some places so maybe that's a good thing but overall it's, it's going to be something that you might also forget very soon anyways guys let me know in the comments below what do you think of the hunt if you've seen it if not if you haven't seen it if you don't have any interest why let me know thanks for watching like comment subscribe later